Hey, welcome back to Out the Smoke. I'm Malcolm. We got Mark here with me. Mark, we got two six packs of beers, two coolers. We got some ice somewhere. What are we fixing to do, man? We're finna see how quick and how cold we can get this beer. Are we gonna get to drink them? Sure, why not? It's, right. it's finna be, well, it's nine o'clock in the morning, but we can do it. Okay. <laughs> So last weekend, we had an event here at the shop and we needed to get some beer cold fast. We had a lot of people coming in, our beer was hot. So Mark said he had it under control. <laughs> he had a trick for lowering the temperature of a cooler by adding salt to the top of it, which melts some of the ice, but it drops those temps down super fast. Think of making homemade ice cream. When you put the rock salt around the ice on the ice cream maker, it drops that, it freezes that milk. Well, we're gonna do the same thing to this beer we're gonna run a control cooler. Mark, you're gonna salt your cooler, and we're gonna see exactly how long it takes to get the beer cold and to see if the salt trick will get it colder faster. Looking for a slushy beer. Now in the control cooler, I'm doing it real simple. We're just putting the beer in. I'm gonna dump some ice on top and stick a lid on it. There ain't nothing fancy here. Some ice in a bucket, and we're gonna dump. Got the exact same amount of ice going in each cooler. So I stopped halfway to get a little salt on here. Malcolm, you think we're gonna bust these bottles? If it gets that cold, I will be impressed. Come back with the rest of the ice. And of course, a little bit more salt. already making noises. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to set a timer for about 10 minutes. We're going to come back and we're going to start checking these beers, seeing if one of them's colder than the other. I don't know how long it's going to take. Do you? No, we got all morning. All right, let's get the stopwatch started. So Malcolm, it's been 20 minutes. I got the salt one. Let's see how cold it is. All right. Well, first mark for the control. Um, they look the exact same. The ice hasn't melted any. I can still see some salt on yours. Stick that thermal pop in this one. It should be, what, around 30, 32 degrees, something it like that. It only, can't get any lower than it 32. It should only go to 32. So we've got 34, 33, there it is, 30, 32, 32 degrees on the control. Now it's not gonna go any lower than that. All right, going in the salt. It's dropping fast. How low will these go? I've never seen them go that low. Two? One degree. <laughs> One degree, that beer's that beer's gonna bust. I mean, when you open it, if it's that cold in there, that is nuts. I don't know. I'm gonna let you open it. I won't swap rolls. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. Pull one out. Pull one out. All right, mine is a frosty, 32 degree Miller High Life. Open it. No reaction. Uh -huh. We still got. It ain't froze. I'm gonna stand back. Oh, it ain't cold, but is it freezing up? Oh, it started freezing when I poked it in there. Oh, look at it, it's frosted all the way over. That is a cold beer. You can see it going all the way down. It's 20 showing, minutes. What was that, 26? 20 minutes in the salt, in the salt, and we're making beer slushy. It is slowly, this is only 20 minutes. With about, I don't know, what did you put, about a cup of salt in there? Roughly. A cup of ice cream salt? We have froze that beer. Malcolm, it's no doubt salt will get your beverages colder. What do you think? This is the best science experiment I've ever been a part <laughs> of, Mark. If you want to turn your beer into a slushy, get you some rock salt, cheap cooler, ice it down, layer that salt in there, 20 minutes, it's gonna be almost too cold. In 10 minutes, we, I mean, we probably should have drank one in yeah. 10. They're gonna be ready in about 10 minutes. So it's a great way to get it cold. And get it cold fast. Dang Skippy. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us here at Out the Smoke. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram too. We'll be posting pictures, all kinds of stuff we're doing. Mark, where can they find your recipes and videos? Y'all can find us at Swine Life BBQ on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and now TikTok. We'll be glad to answer any questions you may have. And I'm over at How to Barbecue Right. Y'all check that out too. We'll see you next time.